What's up everybody? It's Comic Sons of Bust coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fall of the House of Griffin, okay? Because I don't know how many people know, or everybody should know, that Ken Griffin is building a billion dollar home, a smart house, okay? I've watched a few of the horror movies concerning them smart houses. I wouldn't want to live in one. But that's not the point. I'm going to give you an update on the fall of the House of Griffin. But first, let's take a look at my portfolio over here. For this week so far, we are up 44% increase on our portfolio. And man, what a week we are having. And I'll show you why I only have 11 trades here. But on our Forex $10,000 challenge in Thunder Pro, Look at all these wins, people. Look at all these wins. And I scalped for the first half of the uh, week, and then I just turned Galileo on and let it run and see what it could do. And, man, it has not let me down. Now, let's talk about the fall of the House of Griffin, okay? We're talking about the house that Ken Griffin is building in Florida, okay? But let me ask you a question real quick. Have you ever had a neighbor you just couldn't stand? I mean, every time you saw that son of a bitch, you get pissed off. Maybe it's because they play loud music or trash from their yard comes into your yard or whatever the case may be. We've all had a neighbor we couldn't stand and we didn't like. All right, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Did you ever have a neighbor that you didn't like? Well, you got to imagine what's going on here, people, and you don't see this kind of shit in the financials of the company like AMC and GME and everything. But when Ken Griffin bought this property in Palm Springs to build his billion-dollar home on, who became his next-door neighbor? Most people know that he's building the house in Florida, but who is Ken Griffin's next door? door neighbor. Donald Trump is Ken Griffin's next door neighbor. Now let me explain how this is working, all right? Because I tried to tell y'all in another video that what's happened is Ken Griffin came into Florida and he bought the property next door to Mar-a-Lago and all the surrounding properties that he could get until he became the largest real estate landholder in Palm Springs in Florida, all right? Before he did that, Trump was the big dick. He's the one with Mar-a-Lago. That was the number one thing everybody wanted to come see. It was his golf course and his Mar-a-Lago property. But now Ken Griffin moved in next door and bought up everything around him and made Donald Trump number two because Ken Griffin is now number one real estate holder in Florida. Now, if that's not enough, let's take a look at what's going on here. Trump said that if he's elected, he would get marijuana decriminalized off the federal register, okay? And what does Ken Griffin do? He bucks Donald Trump, and he sends millions to the representatives in Florida to stop the legalization of marijuana, which is counter of what Donald Trump said. And this is not the first time I have, we have seen dozens of times Ken Griffin called Donald Trump a three-time loser. And this man is his next-door neighbor, and he sat there and he's listening to this shit. And remember what I told y'all. When it came time to where now it's going to be Donald Trump as the Republican nominee... Ken Griffin tried to get an appointment with Donald Trump, and Donald Trump wouldn't see him. I don't want to see you. you stay your ass over there in your yard, and don't come over here in my yard. Neighbors fighting. <laughs> Ken Griffin, I can't imagine how such a brilliant person, because what he put together at first was legal and brilliant, how he beat the big dogs, but it wasn't ever enough. And he continued to take and take and take until he took from the Donald Trump stock and the Twitter stock and the Tesla stock. Are y'all seeing how many people involved in Donald Trump's campaign are now looking at Ken Griffin and going, that's your 
ass. That's your ass. He's going to go to jail for what he's done. They got a cell with Michael Milken over there waiting for him. All right, that was his running buddy in the 80s. He's going to go to jail and spend the rest of his life with his running buddy because they could not take the profits from legally doing what they were doing. They had to counterfeit all these shares in this country. It's, it's, going, it's going to take somebody like Patrick Byrne to get the shit straight without collapsing everything because of what Ken Griffin has done. And again, who has he pissed off? His next door neighbor and all his next door neighbor's boss, Elon Musk. You're going to short test like that. Donald Trump stock comes out and you were naked shorted all the way to the ground and they had to call you out on it to the representatives. And that's another thing we need to talk about is now the Republicans hold the White House, the Senate, and the House. All right? So the argument now of can Donald Trump replace, the answer is going to be very simple. When he nominates them, they control the House and the Senate. So he's going to get the nomination, okay? Whoever Donald Trump puts up for it, and I pray that it's going to be Patrick Byrne. But then again, you got to understand, this has been an ongoing battle with Patrick Byrne versus the shorts, not since just overstock squeeze, but he's been fighting these son of a bitches ever since up to today. And he promised people would go to jail 20 years ago over all the counterfeiting of shares that they do in our market. Mark my words. Bye, Ken Griffin. <laughs> we'll send you a pen pal letter. <laughs> Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.